Hey guys, how's it going? Tim here from Droid Life, and today we're taking a quick peek at the new Blue Life Pure. This will be the first time we've actually taken a, a look at a Blue device. Blue is a manufacturer that hasn't really broken out into the U.S. market yet because, yeah, I mean, you don't really see them being subsidized on carriers like that. I mean, they're they're pretty well known for actually making decent devices at ex uh, extremely affordable uh, prices. So, like, you can get your um, Blue Fix on Amazon, you know, for like $300, $400, you know, for a pretty premium device. Some of them lack LTE, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, but this one is supposed to be a contender right alongside, say, a Galaxy S4. I mean, it's got some pretty good specs, and uh, so we've got one here. This is the Life Pure. This is brand new, um, going to be announced today I believe when you when you watch this it will be today so Friday um, as we can see here's the box we're gonna be doing an unboxing because you know how much we love unboxings so as you see just blue life peers is actually that uh, <laughs> droid life uh, kinda uses the same uh, font you know very skinny very roboto like uh, domo origato mister roboto so let's take a peek here. On the back, it shows uh, a lot of the specs. So right down, we'll just read these off real quick for you. We have HSPA Plus connectivity. So this is going to work on uh, unlo unlocked basically on AT&T and T-Mobile here in the states. No Sprint, no Verizon, because no CDMA. Um, it has a quad core, 1.5 gigahertz Cortex A7 processor. So it's kind of like a no-name processor, but um, you know you do that to kind of keep the keep the price down. A full 5-inch uh, Full HD display, so that's 1920 by 1080. It has a 13 megapixel back-facing camera, a 5 megapixel front-facing camera. Uh, this version has 32 gigabytes of internal memory, plus 2 gigs of RAM for that processor. So, I mean, it's definitely going to be able to pump out some uh, multitasking. It has a 2,000 milliamp hour battery, and only Android 4.2. You know, we're pretty, uh, in Bluetooth 4.0, we're pretty, pretty bummed that this is only launching with Jelly Bean 4.2. We're really hoping that Blue kind of, you know, steps up and at least updates the 4.3, you know, very quickly. So, let's see here. This is my first time really, uh, looking and touching on it. I'm touching on it. So, it comes in some, uh, some plastic here. We'll set that aside. And uh, see, you got a plastic screen protector here on front. It tells you the specs one more time. We'll go ahead and, oh yes, we'll tear that off. And uh, I, I don't know, yeah, you can kind of see it leaves like sort of a nasty mark on the front, so we'll have to clean it up. Another piece of plastic covering the back. You know, so this is interesting. This is a very plain looking device. Um, it kind of have sides, say if you've seen the Nexus 5 with a matte black version, it's not like the white version that has a glossy back uh, siding. This is all matte. On the bottom here we got dual speakers with a microphone and micro USB charger. Um, naturally, we would say, we would call that it's upside down, but uh, that's how manufacturers are doing it these days. kind of has the same ceramic keys. Uh, to it too, kind of like you'd feel on Nexus Nexus 5. I don't know, if, I mean, pretty sure these are just plastic and not ceramic, but it's still kind of got that same feel and look. Um, power switch up top here, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. There's that 13 megapixel camera, LED flash. Oh, a noise canceling mic up there. Uh, SIM tray, probably micro SIM. I don't know if it's nano, we'll have to take a peek at that. Pretty sure it's probably just micro SIM though. I mean, talk about a plain looking device. Um, there's no there's no markings on it whatsoever besides this blue blue logo right on the back. So all black. Pretty pretty sexy. Pretty light in hand. Kind of uh kind of has the same form factor as a an iPhone. Just imagine if it had like those two lines right here. This would be this could be mistaken for an iPhone. You know, minus the size, of course. Let's go ahead and turn it on and we'll take a peek at oh, it's already on. That's creepy. I swear I have not touched this before, and there it is already on. So, oh, okay. So this has a pretty heavily skinned version of Android running on top, and uh, I don't know if they have a name for it, but you can tell the icons are very squarish, and they they want to skin all the rest of them, so they make all the normal Android icons look square too. Very interesting. We have a pull down here. Wow, so single pull down. Let's up the brightness if we can. Um, brightness, boom, automatic. Oh gosh. All right, well, that's full brightness. I'm going to have to apologize for that. It's not very bright. Um, 
So when you pull down, it goes straight into system toggles, and there's a button for notifications down here on the left. And uh, there it goes into notifications. I can tell you already that this screen is picking up fingerprints like nobody's business. It actually has, I don't know if you can see at all, but it has a uh, capacitive, there we go, buttons right down here for settings, oh, uh, home, and well, a back button. So home, back, settings, very interesting. Long press on that gets you to Google Now, apparently. Man, I don't know. It's been a while since I touched Android 4.2. Oh, there's the multitasking. I want to get into the settings real quick. Do I go to more? What is this? Okay. See, this is what happens when you, like, touch a phone for the first time. It does crazy stuff, and you've never played with it before. Boy, here's the tool preferences. I just want to get into settings. I mean, that shouldn't be too difficult, right? There we go. Settings. Boom. All settings. All right, that's the Android I'm looking for. So definitely skinned, has sort of a white look. Have a nice uh, bounce back to it. About phone, confirm that it has a 4.2 jelly bean. There she is, oh yes, oh yeah. Oh, it's a little off center, but uh, yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> There's jelly bean. So what to say? Um, I'm getting lost, like what is, I'm getting lost just Settings, Google, how about like home? Is there a home button? So I'm pressing home and it takes me to that. Home again. All right, so double tap on home. I'm going to have to uh, definitely try this thing out for a little while and uh, let you know how I think. Let's take a quick peek at the camera software. I mean, 13 megapixel. Sort of sounds like you're throwing paper in the trash, but at least it's snapping them, all right? But... Either way, so here it is, the Blue Life Pure. Um, we're going to try and get up a little quick review of it. I mean, you know, it doesn't have LTE, so we'll try and uh, use it for a little while here on either uh, Timo or AT&T. I don't want to make it Google. Anyways, for Droid Life, if you have any questions, feel free to drop it down below in the comments section. Until then, peace.